the Little Mermaid Show. Zena, do you know what fish are we going to learn about today? Yes, I do. We're going to learn about the stingray. That's so fun. So let's go to an aquarium to learn about the stingray with our family. Stingrays get their name from their sharp stinging barb on their tail that helps them defend themselves. Did you know that stingrays are known to have a fast swimming speed? And they have an excellent sense of smell, hearing, touch and incredible eyesight. Selva! Selva! No, no, no! The fish will bite you here! Whoa! Nice! Hi, Selva! Look at all the stingrays here! This way! Come here! Tommy! Come on! Stingrays can jump to escape predators. Do baby stingrays need their mom? After birth, most stingrays swim away to start their lives away from their parents. How many babies do stingrays have? They have about two to six young at a time. How long do stingrays live up to? They live closer to six to eight years. What are baby stingrays called? They are called pups. They can grow up to 16.5 feet in length. Touch it, Selva. Touch it, baby. Oh, Selva wants to touch other fishy. Selva's not scared. Bye. Bye. Look at that. It's trying to see you. Do stingrays smile? Despite the fact they look like they're constantly smiling at you from beneath, you are actually just looking at their nostril and their mouth. It looks like a smile. But they are very friendly sea creatures that loves a lot of attention. Here we are ready to feed the stingrays. Now that we found some food for the stingray, we are about to feed them. Hi. 
<laughs> Look at all the nice smiley faces. I know. Smiley faces. Here you go, little guy. Baby. It got some. <laughs> I was kind of I was kind of nervous to cut the Whoa! I saw you. Cool. Not too bad, Rita, <laughs> was it fun learning about the stingray? Yes, it was. My favorite is to feed the stingray. Mine too, Nina. Abracadabra! Look at our mermaid tail! Our legs are changed to mermaid tails. Look at our baby brother mermaid is here! Oh, he's so cute! Now what should we do? We'll make our hair turn into mermaid! Now that we have our mermaid hair, what does that say? It's a story time, Royal. Daddy's going to read to us. It's story time. Okay, it's called the Rainbow Fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue, green, purple, and sparkly silver sh um, scales among them. You see that? See how pretty that fish is? The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on! Rainbow fish, they would call, come and play with us. But rainbow fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. See him shining. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. He said, can I please have one? You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish ran away. He was so upset, and he told his friends what happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with rainbow fish. They turn away whenever he swam by. So he went to go tell on him that he's bad. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was a loneliness fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. He told the starfish, I am really beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you can go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. 
Maybe she can help you. The Rainbow Fish found a cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in the glare of the octopus. And the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shiny scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, the, the felt, he felt a light touch on his fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully. He tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his shiny new scale in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with a scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted a little, a little glittering scale. Yep, so the rainbow fish shared his scales um, left and right, and more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. See, when you give when you give stuff to other people, you start to feel so happy that everyone has it. Let's turn the page. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away. Come on, rainbow fish! They called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends.